A Monster Surprise, a Twinkle Original. Beneath the leafy rooftop of the woods in Little Nook was a very hungry rabbit who was searching by the brook. My flowers have been stolen! Almost every single bunch! Rabbit panicked, feeling sure that there was not enough for lunch. He saw a clump of fur between some sticks upon the ground, and he thought that he might know just where the culprit might be found. So, Rabbit marched to Squirrel's house to find his precious food, and to tell his friend that taking it was really rather rude. Excuse me! shouted Rabbit, now with Squirrel in his sight. I was really looking forward to my merry gold delight. I know you took my flowers. Please, return them right away. But it wasn't only Rabbit who was missing food that day. My acorns have been stolen. Squirrel shouted with a cry. And the villain left a bite mark in my tree as they went by. The friends knew just one creature who would nibble on a tree. And they thought that they might know just where the culprit might now be. So on they marched to Beaver's house to find their precious food and to tell their friend that taking it was really rather rude. Excuse me, shouted Squirrel, now with Beaver up ahead. I was really looking forward to my toast with acorn spread. I know you took my acorns. Would you kindly give them back? But it wasn't only Squirrel who was cross about her snack. My wrenches have been stolen, stuffled Beaver full of grief. I'm, I'm sure I saw a pointy thusk belonging to the thief. The friends knew just one creature with a tusk of any sort, and they thought that they might know just where the culprit might be caught. So, on they marched to Boar's house, off to find their precious food, and to tell their friend that taking it was really rather rude. Excuse me, shouted Beaver, now that Boar was in her view. I was really looking forward to my branch and brambles too. I know you took my branches. I'd like them back and chewed. But it wasn't only Beaver who was longing for her food. My berries have been stolen, snorted Boar, wide-eyed shock, and the rubber left some footprints leading right across that rock. I've never seen a creature who has footprints of that kind, so I think that we should follow them to see what we can find. The friends climbed up the rock and clambered down the other side. As they trekked to find their food, with just the footprints as their guide. They took a narrow path that formed a line between the trees and then crawled through thorny bushes that left scratches on their knees. They climbed some jagged rocks 
until their feet could take no more. Then they came across a cave that had a boulder for a door. The boulder started moving and the creature stood in fright as the silhouette inside began to shuffle into sight. A monster! Rabbit shouted as the friends all turned to flee. In the panic, Rabbit tripped, colliding headfirst with a tree. The monster's hand loomed down and as it picked him up, he shook. There was nothing quite so scary in the whole of Little Nook. Oh, please say you won't eat me! Rabbit begged with fearful eyes. I would never eat a rabbit! Laughed the monster with surprise. Oh, well, thank you! answered Rabbit as he brushed the dirt away. And the friends were all relieved to see that Rabbit was okay. The monster mumbled shyly as it bent down on one knee. I was hoping that you all would like to join me for some tea. The monster clicked its fingers and the glowworms shined their lights on the most amazing party full of wonderful delights. Oh, we're missing food! said Rabbit. Now the monster's plan was clear and the creatures all said sorry for reacting with such fear. Please join me said the monster as it headed for the seats. You can help yourself to cups of tea and lots of yummy treats. When Rabbit's little tummy brimmed with marigold delight and when all the toast had gone with no more acorn spread in sight, when Boar was full of berries and the stew was at an end. They all thanked the gentle monster, who was now their brand new friend. Thank you so much for listening, and see you in the next one!